Hello friends, so in today's video, I'm going to discuss uh, the Python code explanation for breadth first search in artificial intelligence. So uh, initially, what is the basic requirement for understanding the Python code for breadth first search is you should have uh, uh, a very basic knowledge of uh, breadth first search algo. You should know how BFS work. And for that, we have a separate video that is already available in this channel. I will post the link of that in description. Um, I think you all should go there once and you should have uh, the basic understanding of breadth first search. If you already have that, then you don't need to uh, bother for that. And uh, it, it will be an easy concept for you to understand in Python, right? Uh, but in general, uh, let me explain what B BFS is, how, how does it work. Initially, the five will be expanded. It will be taken up for expansion and its childs are three and seven. So they will be added in the queue. Now, in that case, three is uh, the first one that is going to be expanded first, further. So three is there and three is having two child nodes, two and four. So two and four will be picked up from here and that will be added behind seven and behind seven. So now the basic queue in this case will be seven, two and four. Five and three are already expanded. Seven, two and four are there in queue. Now seven will be picked and its child is eight in this case. 2 and 4 are already there. 8 will be added behind them. So now the queue will be 2, 4 and 8 and 5, 3, 7 are already expanded. Now next node that is there at the root level will be 2. So 2 will be picked up. It do not have any child nodes. So now your output will be 5, 3, 7, 2 and rest uh, elements that are in queue will be 4 and 8. Then 4 will be picked. 4 it is already having a child that is available in this queue. So 4 will be expanded. Now your result will be 5, 3, 7, 2, 4. And finally 8 will be there and that will be expanded and you will get 5, 3, 7, 2, 4, 8. That should be output according to breadth first search uh, algorithms. Okay. So now let me discuss the program that we can write in Python for breadth first search. Initially what we have to do is we will have to create an, uh, a graph, an, an array you can say that is having all the elements of that uh, graph. And uh, say they are uh, 5, 3, 7, 2, 4, 8. So 5, 3, 7, 2, 4, 8 are here. And uh, corresponding child nodes should also be placed with that one. That is 3 and 7. So 3 and 7 is for 5. 2 and 4 is for 3 and so on. So 2 and 4 is for 3. 3 and 7 for 5. 8 for 7. There is no child for 2. Uh, 8 is for 4. There is no child for 8. So this is being mentioned as graph variable here. We have two further arrays also visited in queue. They are currently blank. They do not have any value. We are going to use them to traverse uh, the specific uh, trees or graph and then to find the output of them. We are having a breadth first search named function that is having three arguments. One is visited array, second is graph array and third is a node element. Node is having the initial node that is five uh, at the first time and later on it will be the different elements of the true of the queue you will say and we will pick that note from there right so this is basically function till here and here we are just calling uh, the print function uh, the, sorry the bfs function uh, with visit it that is blank currently and the graph that is having these values and five as initial note that will be passed over here and then what it will do it will simply append the node that is five to the visited array first and then it will append the node that is 5 to the queue also. So at very first step, your visited will have 5 there and your queue will have 5 as node there. Then we will make a loop for the queue till queue is not empty. We will continue this loop, right? So as queue is having 5 here, so now queue is not empty. So what it will do, it will just continue with this loop and it will pop the very first element from the queue that is 5. 5 will be assigned to m and it will print the value of m that is 5. So 5 will be printed into the output screen and it will add some uh, space over there. Then it will check for the neighbors in a graph for m. m is 5. So m's neighbors are 3 and 7. And it will check if that neighbor is not in visited. Visited is currently blank. So this condition will be satisfied and they will append the neighbors. Neighbors means 2 and 4 to the visited array and append the neighbor 2 and 4 to the queue, okay? This will continue till you are not getting an empty queue and uh, when once you will get the empty queue, this loop will discontinue, right? We are going to elaborate it more. Initially, uh, our visited is blank, queue is blank, 
we have appended node that is 5 to the visited we have appended node 5 that is uh, to the queue and visited now is having 5 queue is now having 5 while queue will check if the queue is empty or not if it is non empty then it will enter inside the while loop it will pop the value the very first element from the queue that is 5 only because right now queue is having 5 only 5 will be picked and assigned to m and now queue is blank and it will print the value of m that is 5 now it will check for all neighbors uh, for m uh, that is 5 so there are two neighbors 3 and 7 it will check if these neighbors are in visited so currently visited is having 5 only so they are not available there then these will be added to the visited uh, array so visited now will have new values 5 3 and 7 3 and 7 will be new value 5 was already there and q will get uh, values 3 and 7 in them now the q's values 3 and 7 it is not empty so this loop will continue right now q is having 3 and 7 this is non empty again it will pop the very first element that is 3 and it will assign that value to m q will now be 7 because 3 is already popped from it q is having 7 only and m's value will be printed up that is 3 so your output will now be 5 and 3 again it will check for some neighbors of uh, graph m m is having uh, 3 right now 3's neighbor are 2 and 4 it will check if 2 and 4 are visited they are not in visited so 3 and 4 will be added to this visited list now your visited will be 5 3 7 2 4 and that will be appended to the queue also 7 was already there in the queue so 2 and 4 will be added behind them now this queue will having value 7 2 and 4 queue is still not empty this loop will continue m will now be 7 and your queue will become 2 and 4 because 7 is popped up from from it it will print the value of m that is 7 your output will be 537 for all neighbors of graph m 7 7 is having neighbor 8 8 is not visited so 8 will be added to the visited uh, array and q will be appended with a new value 8 so now your array will be uh, your q array will be 2 4 and 8 right q is now 2 4 8 still not empty it will pop the very first element that is 2 so 2 will be uh, printed and q will now be 4 and 8 as 2 is being popped now it will check for the neighbors of 2 2 don't have any neighbors so it will not do anything with that one it will pick the next element from uh, your q uh, that will be means your q will now be 4 and 8 only 4 and 8 is still not empty so it will get the very first element that is 4 from that q so m will now be 4 and q will now become 8 so m will be printed now your output will be 53724 and again it will check for the child nodes of that you are having 8 as child of this 4 but that is already in visited so it will not be appended here right your q will now have only one element that is 8 so 8 is q is not empty 8 will be popped up q will now be blank it will print the value of 8 53724 it is now your output for neighbors in graph m a do not have any neighbors so further there will be nothing nothing will be happen q is now empty again when this uh, this condition is now uh, just satisfied means it is having some empty value so this will discontinue the further steps and you will get your output as uh, 5 uh, 5 3 7 2 4 8 and as we have seen if we are using breadth first search then that will be the basic output that we need to generate right i hope uh, you understood the concept how we are going to implement breadth first search in python in further videos i'm going to discuss some other algos also till then please like and subscribe thank you very much